Welcome to Computer Programming Laboratory. In this lab, we are solving a given problem using C programming language. C is a high level programming language which was developed by Dennis Ritchie. In this lab, we have 14 main programs and 3 sub programs. Totally, we have 17 programs in this lab. Now, let us start the program of a quadratic equation. The purpose of this program is to demonstrate if and if else conditional control constructs. Let us discuss the logic of a quadratic equation. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b and c are the coefficients of a quadratic equation. So, here we have to compute the value for root 1 and root 2. Root 1 value will be computed by using the formula minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Root 2 value will be computed by using the formula minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So, firstly the value of root 1 and root 2 will be calculating by reading some values for the coefficients a, b and c. By applying those values root 1 and root 2 value will be computed. So, here we have taken b square minus 4ac as a discriminate value. If the discriminate value is equal to 0, then the roots are real and equal. If the computed value of disk is greater than 0, then the roots are real and distinct. If the computed value of disk is less than 0, then the roots are imaginary and complex. The standard form of complex is x plus i y. Here x indicates it is a real part and y indicates it is a imaginary part. This program calculate all possible roots of a quadratic equation. The very first line in this program is hash include stdio.h. Here hash include is a preprocessor directive. It includes all the header files such as stdio.h, conio.h, math.h and so on. Here the first header file we are using here is stdio.h. STDIO stands for standard input output header file. The next header file we are including here is conio.h. Conio stands for console input output header file. The next header file is math.h. It stands for mathematical header file. Since we are using some mathematical library functions like square root and fabs, these two functions are defined in this header file. The next part is main function. Here main is a function, it is a starting point of the execution and void is a keyword, it indicates that it has no return type. After main function, we have to open the flower bracket. Inside this, we have to write some set of statements, those statements are called as executable statements. Inside the main function, the first part includes declaration part. Here, this line is called as declaration of a variable. It consists of data type name and variable names. Here, float is a data type. Like this, we have some more data types such as integer, char and double. Here, a, b and c are the input variables and disk is a variable which is used to compute the discriminate value. The next line also a declaration part. Here we are using the same data type called float. Root 1, root 2, real and imaginary are the output variables. The next line is clear screen. Clear screen is a library function which is used to clear the output screen. Next, we have printf function. 
printf is a output function inside this printf function we will going to write some set of contents these contents will be displayed on the output screen and the next function is scanf function this function is called as input function it has some set of format specifier followed by set of variables which we have declared here the percentage f specifies that it is a format specifier which is used for float data type and ampersand specifies the address of the variable a ampersand b specifies that address of the variable b and ampersand c specifies the address of the variable c whatever the value we are reading from the keyboard those values will be stored in their particular addresses and these two functions such as printf function and scanf functions are defined in the header file stdio.h next we have if conditional control construct here in this statement we will going to check the condition if the condition is true control enters the if statement and it executes the part of the if statement in our program we are checking for the invalid inputs if the value of a and value of b is equal to 0 then we have to print those are invalid inputs so afterwards we have to print the roots are real and imaginary using printf statement then to print the value of real we are using a formula minus b divided by 2 star a then the imaginary value will be printed and computed by using the formula square root of fabs of disk divided by 2 star a after computing the value of real and imaginary the values will be printed by using the function printf function then we are using a function called get ch it is nothing but get char when we enter a character from the keyboard it exit the program afterwards we have to close the flower bracket this is the end of our program now let's discuss the syntax of if and if else conditional control construct the syntax will be like this if then followed by the condition 1 if this condition is true the statements which are in the if part will be executed if this condition is false control comes to else if part then again check the condition if this condition is true the statements which are in the else if part will be executed that is statement 1 till statement m1 will be executed if the condition 2 is false then the control comes to else part and the statements which are in the else part will be executed now let us compile this program to compile the program we are using a command called alt f9 after compilation we have to execute the program to check the output the command is control f9 afterwards we have to enter the coefficients of quadratic equation so the values i am entering here are 0 1 and 2 these are the values i am applying for the variables a b and c the output will be invalid output then we have to check the outputs for roots are real and distinct so the inputs are 1 minus 5 and 6 so the output will be roots are real and distinct the value of root 1 is equal to 3.00 and the value of root 2 is equal to 2.00 then let's check the output for roots are real and equal the values are 1 minus 4 and 4 so the output will be the roots are real 
and equal. The value of root 1 is equal to 2.00 and the value of root 2 is equal to 2.00. So, the final one is roots are real, imaginary and complex. The values are 1, 2 and 3. So, the roots are imaginary and complex. The value of root 1 is equal to minus 1.00 plus i 1.414214 and the value of root 2 is equal to minus 1.00 minus i 1.414214. So, this is the final output for all the possible roots of a quadratic equation.